In the railway slum of Tejgao in the Bangladeshi capital, Dhaka, 12-year-old Mohammed Hussein knows what he wants to be when he grows up, a doctor. But he's not getting an education anymore. I used to go to school but dropped out because my father is sick, which is why I have to work. I want to go to school but we have no money, so I have no choice but to work. In the slums of Dhaka, about one in six children between the ages of 6 and 14 don't go to school. Instead, they work full time. We had 85 students in this primary school, but 20% dropped out. The reason for dropouts is that many of these kids go to work to help their families. They're too poor and need to work to survive. 22. 22. Nearly half of the Dhaka city slum population are children. Most don't exist in any official records or have any proper address. Life is difficult and often dangerous for them with high school dropout rates, child labor, abuse, and malnourishment. According to the World Bank, 400,000 people move to the capital every year, boosting the population today in the greater Dhaka area to around 20 million, making it one of the largest and most densely populated cities in the world. The opportunities that Dhaka city offers to the people who migrate from rural areas uh, is almost a pooling kind of uh, factors. In addition to that, there are uh, climate factors or cyclone, uh, even the man-made factors that also push uh, for the migration to the city. Many have been forced to move to the city because of natural disasters, wiping out their rural way of life. We came here because it's hard to make a living doing farming. Most of the time the crops are washed away by flood water. My husband is sick, so I must work. The government says it plans to build shelters for slum dwellers and to take steps to ensure children don't have to drop out of school to start working. But for 12-year-old Mohammed, that will probably come too late for him to realize his dream of being a doctor. Tanvir Chaudhary, Al Jazeera, Dhaka, Bangladesh.